Greetings everyone, this is Force Nature of Top Tier Tips, and in this session we're going to be taking a look at Soul Calibur 6's Season 2 changes. In Season 2, there are two completely new mechanics that are being added. The first is Soul Attack, and the other one is called Resist Impact. Before I go on, I do want to say that this video is endorsed by Smart Esports and Trollcoin. And remember, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just hit the like button anyway. And subscribe for more juicy 3D Fighter related content. The first new mechanic that we're going to take a look at is Soul Attack. What Soul Attack is, it's an attack that leads into Soul Charge. It requires one bar to Soul Charge gauge or one bar meter. And you input 236 A plus B plus K or quarter circle forward A plus B plus K to activate it. So you hit the opponent and now you're in Soul Charge. You cannot activate Soul Attack while you're already in Soul Charge. So if you do 236... A plus B plus K, you won't get anything. If you have a stance, a uh, quarter circle forward stance, like um, two Bs, aggression shift, and you'll just go into that instead. So you need to be outside of Soul Charge to be able to go into it. Whether the Soul Attack connects or if it whiffs, you'll go into Soul Charge. I will also let you know that Soul Attack does not have the invincibility that the typical four A plus B plus K does that would, uh, the usual way of going into Soul Charge. For instance, four A plus B plus K, this, you still have to use this as your defensive way of entering Soul Charge. Because you see, it's that it's the big get off me move when you're getting pressured a lot and it goes into Soul Charge. So keep in mind that Soul, soul, that soul Attack, you have to use it as an offensive move, not a defensive move. The second mechanic that we're going to take a look at is called Resist Impact. And it's inputted by 6B plus G or forward B plus G right there. And it costs a quarter of your... It will cost a, qu a quarter of your meter or, or uh, half of a soul gauge bar. And what it does is it defends against pretty much everything. Whereas a normal GI would defend against all high, mid, or low attacks along with um, throws. A resist impact... Oh, not that. A resist impact defends against all of that plus break attacks and unblockables. So yeah, so essentially this move is really good at defending about into you. For instance, if your guard gauge was like flashing red... I mean, and then you're about to get guard burst or guard broken, then you use a, resi you use a resist impact and you'll be able to protect yourself. Dodge. No way. Hard. Report. Affinity increased. Good. Unlike normal GIs or reversal edge, you see right here which ends up draining your guard gauge and makes the color go yellow, then eventually to... then eventually red. Using... Oh, not that. Using uh, the resist impact, it doesn't end up draining your guard gauge. So what, if you actually do it successfully, it actually restores your guard gauge a, a bit, which is actually pretty cool. Take note also that if you're in soul charge, uh, you don't use up any meter when you do. Um, you don't. You don't use up any. You don't use up any meter when you end up doing a resist impact. But as you see, your soul charge gauge ends up going down every time you use it instead. Next up, we're going to be looking at the changes to Reversal Edge in Season 2. Alright, straight up. The biggest difference to Reversal Edge in Season 2 is that it does not lead into the Clash minigame on block. Instead, what it does is it does both chip damage and guard gauge damage. So you see right there, you get 8 damage if you just tap it, but if you hold it down, you get 12 damage and you do a bit more guard gauge damage. As you see right there, you can break the guard also and Reversal Edge still drains your own guard gauge. However, you'll see right here that Reversal Edge also can restore can restore your own um, soul, uh, soul gauge bar. Whether you tap it or if you hold it down and then you see you get even more when you like hold it down. Right there, so you get like a lot of meter if you end up holding it down, so... Yeah, instead of going into the Clash minigame, which I'll show you right now that you could still... You could still go into it on hit, then you have the kind of rock, paper, scissor minigame where you press B, A, K, guard, dodge, or whatever, but... Yeah, so so for people that, that hated when you get punished for guard and you have to play that minigame, well, no, you just take chip damage and guard gauge damage instead. Next up, we're going to be look at the changes to the grapple break or throw break system. All right. The major, the major change in Soul Calibur 6's uh, grapple break system is that the victim, so the person who performs the grapple break, now takes a bit of damage. You see right there, I take like a bit of chip damage every time 
that happens and the attacker builds up some meter and I build up a little meter also so yes yeah, so that's a big change now so basically you're encouraged to you're basically encouraged to throw more often because whether your throw gets broken or not you basically get rewarded for it but yeah I mean it's of course it doesn't mean get it doesn't mean get thrown but like yeah, I mean, it, well, it kind of sucks now that you that you now take damage for being throw breaking, but I know that's kind of being a thing with older Soul Calibers. And now I want to look at size stepping a bit right now. Uh, the change that there is in season two is that stepping into a guard, so side stepping into a guard, there's a bit more vulnerability. There's a bit more vulnerability in in between that. So I just stepped and just hold down the guard button. There's a bit more vulnerability between this so it's a bit more similar to Soul Calibur 5 where you can get like blown up during sides a bit more easily. So you get to be a bit careful during movement now when doing like, well, step guard and they're stepping into a guard. And the rest of the changes are essentially effectively bug fixes. So like, for instance, there's changes to like jump attacks where like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just read it off then I'll, I'll try to posted down like the changes right now for you since it's basically kind of like bug fix related things regarding the input window certain inputs would cause the tracking of jump attacks to be much better than intended the input window for jump attacks has been made stricter to make it harder for this to occur All right and next would be horizontal roll wake up fixed an itch it fixed an issue in which characters were unable to guard for some time while waking up from a downed state uh, the next one is input in four six or back forward adjusted the input window to reduce cases in which the attack with this command would be performed unintentionally. Uh, next is attacks that count number of hits. Previously actions that increase in power based on number of hits like Zaslamel's curse or Amy's like rose perception such as like number of rose hits would count hits even if performed when a revenge attack misses. This issue has been fixed. Next up number of wall hits. Normally, up to two wall hits are allowed in one combo, but hitting an opponent that performed a Ukemi, which is basically a tech roll, would, res would reset the wall hit counter. This issue has been fixed. Note also, the health gauge and combo hit display do not reset, making it appear as though the combo continued. This will be addressed in the future, so in a future patch. Next is uh, mid-air hit behavior. Fix an issue in which a character getting knocked back mid-air and making tonic with the edge of the stage would cause the character to get caught and slide instead of ripping out. Uh, interesting. Next up, wall hit behavior. Fix an issue in which a character would fall down outside of the stage instead of inside if they were knocked into a wall. Oh my. And a couple more. Soul charge. If an opponent attacks, hits you before you trigger a soul charge, it is now treated as an attack counter. Oh my. And uh, last one now is uh, guard impact, reverse impact. Increase the opening after a miss by two frames. Also in Season 2, two new stages have been added, such as this infinite um, training stage right here, which is a, with the dark background and some green firefly-like things, orbs in the sky. So basically, you can now just... You can now, like, practice things or whatever without fear of, like, basically running out of... <laughs> running out of space or anything like that, so... Yeah, so this is now the only infinite stage in Soul Calibur 6. However, it is strictly a training stage. You cannot use it for... Well, competitive play. It's strictly a training stage. And also, a uh, nice forest stage that was also added, which looks similar to the dark forest stage we already have, but it's a bit brighter and it's got some like cool like animals in the background, so check it out. The new menu page also looks pretty dope also. So just look at the new forest stage. Silver Wo Wolves Haven. I don't know if the load times have been improved a bit also because it... I don't know, it does seem like they're like a little better. And last thing I'm going to show you is that every character in Season 2 has received new moves. Like for instance, 2B has this awesome 3 plus K move where she... It's basically a mid into a high projectile. Where 2B basically kicks her sword at the opponent like the badass that she is. So that's a pretty sick move. She also received like a new move, um, let's see, 6-6... Six, six, 8k right there so it ends up going like mid uh oh no low high low or if you hold it down in low high mid she also gets you got a new um one one uh one one seven seven b plus k you can hold it down or you can just 
tap it and you get like a different move. She also got a new move out of a aggression shift. AA, which looks similar to her normal A. It can also be done out of um can also be done out of Soul Charge. See, which is pretty neat. Yeah, you kind of like knock the opponent down, but you get the kind of idea. She got a new move out of her angler stance. A plus B. So now she got a, tra a tracking move out of it, so. That's pretty neat, though. So yeah, for for your own chosen character, see what different uh, what additional moves the characters got, and also check to see if any inputs have like have changed. Also, for instance. All right, guys, that's it for now. I want to thank Smart Esports and Trollcoin for endorsing this video. But as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just like the video anyway. And uh, be sure to check out my other Soul Calibur Six uh, character guides and my 3D fighter guides in general. And um, if you'd like to support this channel, feel free to join Top Tier Fighters to support this help, and I do appreciate it. And be sure to look out for a certain warrior princess on its way very soon. Anyways, this is Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time on Top Tier Tips.